Hello everybody. I am back. This is another video. Uh, this is the weekend, so it's time for another video, right? So um, I am here at the Cyrus McCormick Farm, and uh, we're going to be learning about reapers. Um, the Cyrus McCormick Farm is actually located uh, right on the end of Augusta County in Virginia, and uh, it is uh, kind of near Steeles Tavern, Virginia. And um, this is the place where the reaper was invented. And uh, we're going to learn what a reaper is and, and also uh, see some sights along this farm. Let's go check it out. This is the Cyrus McCormick Farm in Workshop. Uh, this is where, probably where the reaper was repaired and all these things. So, so what exactly is a reaper? Well, a reaper made harvesting so much easier. So much easier. So, so. Uh, I believe like when they harvested in the uh, before the reaper it was uh, you know they could only do maybe 0.5 an acre farmers could do but then after this was invented they could do about 12 acres at a time so this was revolutionary in the farming industry now Cyrus McCormick eventually moved the business with his uh, with his uh, brother and father to Chicago, and then they sold um, sold the Reaper and so forth to uh, a lot of people in the Midwest uh, to uh, um, uh, for their farms, and actually even it worked out deals t to where they can where the, where the farmers can purchase it. So it's really cool, and, and uh, they eventually. Uh, combined with a company called Deering, and now that's where you see uh, people using the international harvester machines to plow their fields and things like that. So it all started here in Virginia. Let's check out this grist mill. Check this out, guys. Working grist mill. Harvest the crops of the world. And there's the McCormick Reaper Works in Chicago, where eventually, like I said, we're headquartered at. So it says here that the materials in these buildings have all been procured from the farm. Hewed oak logs form the substructure and rive the chestnut shingles over the roofs. Notice that much of the inside shows that the mark of the broad axe on the supports and framing for the wooden machinery. The gearing is all solid oak. Cog wheels mesh into squirrel cages which are formed of stout wooden rungs fitted into heavy wooden discs. The discs in turn are securely mounted upon the axle or shaft which they are designed to turn. Wooden pins are used to fasten wood on wood. Metal was scarce and hard to get in the 18th century frontier. Well, fireplace are right here. Okay, 
Okay, the McCormick Historic Exhibit. This is where we're going to learn about the Reaper. And look at that. They're going to have an International Harvester Show on June 22nd to 24th. Young McCormick, elated in his um, triumph, offered this first Reaper for sale but there were no buyers, even at the price of $50. And um, really the importance of the, uh, of the invention can hardly be overstated. He perfected a device which touches one on man's basic needs and took much of the drudgery out of the necessary chore. He opened the door for a new era in agriculture by finding a way to replace muscle power with mechanical power on a job that had to be done. The world's first reaper. There they are harvesting in the field with the reaper. And as you see there, there's one man sitting there riding and two horses pulling. another view of how that would have worked. There's a lot of models that were built. It looks like these are original artifacts from when this place was was here in an operation. You had some old plates looks like and some maybe some tools left over tools nails cast iron cooking pots and there he says probably made in the blacksmith shop inventor the reaper was born on this farm he completed the first Practical Reaper in 1831. There's uh, the top floor of the grist mill. Now this is an old tree. If you look at this tree, by the lines in the tree, this tells you the year of each event. So you got right here, you got the College of William and Mary was founded in 1695, 93, sorry. Then you got George Washington born right there in 1732, American Revolution in 1776. Cyrus McCormick, born 1809, the Reaper Trials, 1831, that's when, the, when he was inventing the Reaper, and then Civil War began in 1861, and Moon Landing in 1969. It says here that this grist mill was actually in use before Cyrus McCormick was born. So, I uh, probably failed to mention this, but this whole area here that we've been exploring today is all free so if you are budget conscious you can't really beat free and they got like uh, picnic tables and um, you know plenty of space here you know have events I think people get married here and you know it's a really beautiful place now I think I read somewhere that this building right here 
was once the slave quarters here because they did have slaves on this property. Unfortunately, if you're going to see anything that's old in the south, unfortunately, had slave labor. And uh, But this, I believe, this structure, which is now the bathrooms, I believe was the uh, slave quarters. If I'm, if I'm wrong, then please correct me, but I believe that's what it was. All right, so that was the Cyrus McCormick Farm. I hope you uh, enjoyed watching the video. I hope you learned something as well. And uh, please uh, like, subscribe, comment, and uh, I'll be seeing you in the next video. Hope you have a wonderful day.